there are a set of cells in your brain, and these neurons seem to be designed to recognize when other individuals are acting in a way, and you then have the same response as a result of these neurons. When you watch someone grab an object or smile, special neurons in your brain fire as if you're grabbing or smiling too. It actually feels like you perform the action yourself. Dogs may make the same primal connection. In fact, some dogs are so tuned in, they could save your life. Ricochet is a six-year-old golden retriever. She's been a working therapy dog for five years, and she's a superstar. I started training Ricochet when she was 13 days old. She's able to give every individual what they need, whether they know it or not. At a young age, she learned to serve. At first, her talent was in raising money for people with disabilities. Then she found her true calling as a therapy dog. She's helped kids with autism, people with disabilities, military veterans with PTSD. It's really a heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul connection that she's making with them. Judy signed Ricochet up for a program that pairs veterans struggling with PTSD with therapy dogs. That's how Ricochet met Iraq war veteran Randy Dexter. The day I met her, I was in a bad place mentally. This was kind of like a last-ditch effort for me. <laughs> yeah, you know it. I was a combat medic. And I deployed twice to Iraq. I went to Iraq with uh, the hope of saving everyone that I could, and when that didn't happen, kind of lost faith in myself and ended up coming home with having all these problems and nightmares were horrific. Randy is so traumatized that even an afternoon walk down the street rattles him with anxiety. This situation is a little bit difficult for you. We got people making a lot of noise back here. You got lots of people around us. Yeah, this not only would it be difficult, but it would be nearly impossible. I've, I've had panic attacks. I mean, I'm still anxious, but sure. not nearly as bad as I would be without her. I don't like large crowds because we were in the streets of Baghdad every day driving around. So there would be tons of Iraqis. Sometimes we'd be surrounded. Randy gets anxious about who may be lurking behind him or what's around the corner and fixates on his anxiety. But watch this again. See how a few small actions from Ricochet make a huge difference. She positions herself so she can always watch his back and warn him if something is around the corner. I'm ready. But Ricochet's key skill is not just physical. It's keeping an eye out for changes in Randy's mood. I'm pretty anxious right now. My, I mean, my palms are a little sweaty. She's not going to let me push myself too far. If she senses that Randy is too stressed to continue, she plants herself standing very still and rigid, so Randy is forced to stop and stay calm. Then, she leans into him so he can release his anxiety. In the military, we have battle buddies. Someone's with you at all times. I got your back, you got mine, we're there for each other. She's my battle buddy. Now with her, I'm able to get out and enjoy things I used to love and, and be free. I mean, that's what we fought for, right? right? Ricochet is such an amazing dog, surfing with kids and helping people with PTSD. And as a scientist, my job is to obviously be skeptical, not cynical, but skeptical. Is this a dog that's unusually empathic, is able to very quickly bond with people? At his center, Dr. Hare will try to find out how Ricochet does what she does. Let's play the game with Ricochet and find out. When a dog is staring at you, some people wonder, do they want my sandwich? Do they want to go on a walk? But it may be that your dog is just hugging you with their eyes. You can do great science, and it can be very simple. Go! Just put a piece of food near your face, and then you wait until your dog looks away from you, and that's it. The treat helps initiate eye contact. Believe it or not, when dogs and humans make eye contact, they're actually causing changes in the physiology in their bodies. Whenever you have a positive interaction with another individual, a smile, a handshake, a hug, or eye contact, your hypothalamus releases oxytocin, often called the hug hormone. It's an integral part in the instant bond between mother and child after birth and it instills a feeling of closeness and bonding between individuals. 
Scientists have actually measured the amount of oxytocin that is expressed in a person's body and in a dog's body when you make eye contact. And what has been discovered is that the amount of time that your dog locks gaze tends to be related to the amount of oxytocin that is expressed. Eye contact causes the release of oxytocin. Oxytocin creates a desire for more social connections, like making more eye contact. It's a feel-good feedback loop. Woo! Okay, that's a lot of eye contact. Good girl. <laughs> she went the full 90 seconds, so that's uh, the max. So when Ricochet's performance on the yawn and eye contact games are combined and compared to other dogs, she scores as a very bonded dog. But empathy is just one part of her personality profile. After playing all the other games, she also turned out to be collaborative, relying on information from others and used several different strategies for solving problems on her own. It's the moment of truth. I'm ready. It's, we played all these games, now it's time to look at how Ricochet compares to all the other dogs that have played all these games before. How did you do, Ricochet? <laughs> I do. All right, she's a socialite. Makes sense. Socialites are experts at staying attuned to you. What you can see immediately is she's really bonded, given what this dog does for a living. No surprise. It's actually surprising how far off the chart she is.